Let's talk about a great way to use the new Content Aware Fill feature found in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Now I'm going to start with this photograph from that incredible photographer by the name of Randy Keppel. Now Randy took this photograph, but he took it at an angle. And the client really wanted this to have a nice horizon line, a little less at an angle. So let's go in and solve this problem quickly and easily with the new Content Aware feature. This is how it starts. Let's target our layer and do a simple rotation. Under the Edit menu, Transform, and over here to Rotate. Then I can go in here and simply rotate this until it looks correct, just like this. However, we notice another problem, the classic problem, where you rotate something and these areas on the outside need to be filled in. Now you could go in, of course, with your clone tool and clone those in, but here's a really great way to solve this problem quickly and easily. The first thing I'm going to do is to load the transparency. I'm going to hold down my Command key on the Macintosh or my Control key on the PC and click here on the image in my Layers panel. Now that's loading the selection of the image. What I want is a selection of the area that I need to fill or the areas outside this. So first I'm going to go up here to the Select menu and down to Select Inverse, just like that. And now I need to expand it just a little bit because I know that in the process of creating a content aware fill, I need a little bit of overlap. So under the select menu, let's modify this by expanding this selected region. And in this case, let's do it about 10 pixels. That's all we really need. Now, of course, the 10 pixels is based upon resolution, and that's working well here. You can see the amount of overlap I've got. All I do now is a shift key and the delete key, which of course brings up automatically the fill menu that I can select Content Aware right here and hit OK. Check it out. This is amazing. It's going to grow the vegetation into the surrounding region. I hide my selection and we're done. Fantastic. There you have it. A great photograph from Randy Keppel and a great solution to a common problem when rotating images. Give it a try.